Hello and welcome to livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin playing a glorious pre-Aeolian Mason and Hamlin Model A. Pre-Aeolian, what does this mean? Well, the Aeolian Piano Company bought Mason and Hamlin in the early 1930s and many people just seek out these particular vintage Mason and Hamlins for their particularly rich tone. And boy, this is a great example. Not only that, but this piano has been rebuilt and it's got German hammers, top quality components. It looks gorgeous and the, the case is refreshed, not refinished, but it looks very good. But more than that, wait till you hear the sound of this piano. I'm going to start off with the third movement of the D major opus 10 number no. three sonata of Beethoven. There's a warmth to the tone that is unmistakably Mason and Hamlin. It's a real signature sound that is unlike any other piano. Listen to some more now. I'm going to play now the beginning of the Liszt Sixth Hungarian Rhapsody. Listen how this piano opens up. Now this is a 5-8, what's sometimes called a parlor size grand, but you'd swear you're listening to a full grand because of the wide tail and other technologies that only Mason and Hamlin pianos have. Incidentally, Mason and Hamlin is one of only two companies left from the over 1,800 companies that were producing pianos in the United States 100 years ago. And they are still making absolutely spectacular instruments outside of Boston. If you're ever in the area, you should go for a tour and see what's going on there because it is really a little bit of American history still in motion. I'm going to close now with a little bit of the beginning of the B-flat minor nocturne of Chopin so you can hear the singing quality of this piano.
and that's the glorious fat tone that only a Mason and Hamlin has. If you have questions about Mason and Hamlin or any piano questions at all, you can address them to me, Robert at livingpianos.com. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next video.